a lot of people. He started the record off naming other people. So I don't know how the line where he mentioned me becomes so legendary when he mentioned ten other people in that 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 same record. Then I was getting a page from this guy, you know, telling me that he wanted me to rap on the record, and he'd been asking me for a while to rap on record because it's going to be a song with me and big and all this he said we need you whoop -de -whoop. so pop is trying to get us buzzed in and they finally buzz us in so we get inside the building now i get a good look at him because he's standing in front of me and i can see these bullet wounds to his head and i've seen how they traveled under his skin on his skull and all of that so i'm telling him I'm like man fuck you shot in the head he looked at me he go Come on, Zay, don't fucking break up on me, man. You know what I mean? Don't break up on me right now. I'm like, nigga, I ain't breaking up. You shot in the fucking head, though. We having this conversation on the elevator on the way up. So now the elevator door opens. And who's standing right there with his back to the door? Sean Puffy Combs. I pulls the strap, and I fucking put the strap to the back of his head. And he turns around, and he's like, he throws his hands. He's like, oh, and he walks to the fucking wall that's adjacent to the elevator door. So I made everybody in there put their hands up on the wall. It was a few cats that assisted Pac. Pac is like, yo, where's my fucking limping and shit bleeding from the head? Yo, where's my fucking money? Where's my fucking money? So Sean, little Sean, he tried to get out of there as well. But I stopped him, asked him, I questioned him, like, what the fuck is going on? The way he was speaking is like he knew it was some bullshit going on. I was kind of pissed at little Sean because in his first interview, he said something about, oh, because I could hear him scream, ah! So that pissed me off, and I'm telling everybody in there, I said, yo, something else happened to my man, this motherfucker? I know I got a bullet for everybody, so everybody looking like, oh, shit. Big homeboy, one of his tight man, is his close associate or whatever, forgot son name, that dude, and he was with a, a younger dude, he had a younger dude with him. So they tried to leave. So I stopped him, you know, I'm like, yo, what the fuck you think you going, man? You know what I mean? He like, come on, son. You know what I mean? You know we ain't had nothing to do with this shit, son, but I know Brooklyn niggas. I'm Brooklyn. You know what I mean? So I seen the genuine in them. One of the employees of the motherfucking um, studio, he gonna say, there's a white guy with dreads. He said, oh, excuse me, Mr. Gunman. The police are on their way upstairs. I thought you should know that. Yo, what's good? This is Zay, man. Look here, man. There's a lot of dudes out there running their mouth, you know what I mean, talking like they know what the deal is with this pox shit. Now, it amazes me that it's a grown-ass man talking about, you know, he did this, he did that, man is in prison. I'm just saying, like, I ain't too sure about that, bro. Because I was there, you know what I mean? Your whole style, your whole the way you look, your size, everything. Like, I don't know you, bro. Dexter Isaac Cat, I don't know you, bro. Your whole M.O., it just don't fit. You know what I mean? I don't see where you was there, because I was there. One of the employees of the motherfucking um, studio, he gonna say, there's a white guy with dress. He said, oh, excuse me, Mr. Gunman, the police are on their way upstairs. People you know, think I just got out of jail, was like, just cause I got shot on the East Coast, I'm like, fuck the East Coast, yeah, you know? No. Half the rappers from the East Coast was there when I got shot, nobody knew a thing. That's just like, you come into the hood, the police ask them what happened, mm -hmm. and everybody's like, I don't know, you know they lying. Mm -hmm. And all I was doing was like, Give me my proper etiquette. Mm -hmm. If Biggie was out here on the West Coast, he was in the studio with me and we homeboys, and he got shot, no, I wouldn't tell him who did it, but he would want, I wouldn't go ride on the niggas who did it, but he would want to know who did it. Then mm -hmm. I'd be like, look, man, these niggas from Watts did it. Wound, this is why they want to talk to you. When, 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 that's how I do it. Just like when the niggas from the 60s wanted to get a stretch. I went to them personally and talked to them. Mm -hmm. I do it by the rules of etiquette. So I got shot, I'm like, yo, what happened? Come see me in jail. Biggie all in the air to my ear pockets, my homeboy wound, but not seeing me. My homeboy Stretch is going to Biggie's concerts. Niggas is like abandoning me. Mm -hmm. But all in the air and on TV, they like, yeah, pop, rest, you know, keep the struggle on. I was like, yo, I'm starting to turn into like Slick Rick. Mm -hmm. Niggas is just gonna act like I'ma just be in jail and they gonna give me shout outs and try to take my position. Mm -hmm. And if you watch, that's what Biggie did. I told you know, him that I trained, he was supposed to be, he was supposed to be thug life. Mm -hmm. All while he was coming up, I used to let him come on stage with me, he was screaming thug life. Hey, cause I he was like, I hate Canadian. Brooklyn, I hate me, y'all don't mind with them niggas puppy cheating me, woo woo woo. All of a sudden he blew up, and he wasn't saying thug life. Mm -hmm. So I started getting mad, and I was seeing the niggas plays, he was hugging me, yo pop, yo thank you, he's the only nigga that woo woo But he, and he told me like, about a week before I got shot, he knew the nigga that was shot me, and he was like, pop, don't hang around this nigga, you know me, you know I'll be walked in with the nigga that shot me, that ended up shooting me. He's like, pop, don't fuck with this nigga, cause I knew the nigga too, he was my mm -hmm. co-defendant. 
And uh, I was like, what you mean? He's like, I'll talk to you about it later. And we didn't talk. The next time I saw him was at the studio where I got shot. And uh, I was like, what you mean? He's like, I'll talk to you about it later. And we didn't talk. The next time I saw him was at the studio where I got shot. So I knew he knew what happened. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Biggie, what happened? He kept sending me messages like a bitch, you know, like mm -hmm. I'm gonna come see. No, nigga, what happened? While I'm in jail, strangers is telling me, yo, you don't know? Biggie Homeboy shot you. Cause they bragging, they telling they niggas in jail, yo, we just got popped. Woo -woo -woo -woo. And my cousin was in jail in New York, cause I got family out there. Mm -hmm. He sit right there while the niggas get in the car going, yo, my homeboy's just jacked that nigga Tupac. So that's how I knew, shot me. 